From Trotwood to Fairborn and up in Springfield. You know, we opened up and a lot of people are out doing stuff. They are just some of the communities Governor Mike DeWine said last month had worrisome diagnosis numbers. And you can see cases going upwards. Declaring COVID-19 hotspots in 10 Clark, Green, Montgomery and Warren County zip codes. If you see that zip code, that, that should be a warning to you. Hey, I need to get a test. Second, I need to be careful. There's obviously community spread going on in the area where I live. I think bringing attention to the fact that our numbers are going up is what has to happen right now. But Trotwood Mayor Mary McDonald does not necessarily agree with the term. Other than just basically saying that those numbers are going up in your area and I'm concerned about it. So, you know, I just accept that that's the terminology that they're using. In an attempt to understand the state's terminology, the I-team requested multiple Department of Health interviews. They were denied, but in a statement, agency leaders said hotspot data is the cumulative number of cases reported by zip code of residents. That essentially says don't go to Fairborn. You know, it's a hot spot, and that's just, that misrepresents us. Fairborn's mayor, Paul Keller, is concerned the numbers lack context, like the Fairborn zip code in question extending beyond his city's limits. It's because it puts a lot, of, a lot of people in fear that already have anxiety disorders, so it's, I don't think it's good to put that out to the public like that. Fairborn Area Chamber of Commerce Executive Director Matt Owen told the I-Team business owners are also feeling that fear. But out of the nearly 100 he's talked to, none has mentioned COVID-19 hotspots. Instead, their focus is on state regulations. It's a tough environment already of stores trying to reopen and trying to comply and trying to be safe. And then to have maybe a red X stamped on us as don't go there. Uh, I was a bit surprised. But then I think right when that happened was when we had a major event. After 138 Clark County Dole Plant employees tested positive for COVID-19, the governor singled out Springfield. I, I don't think Springfield has a, a ongoing special problem. Nevertheless, Mayor Warren Copeland said it was important for the city to pass an ordinance requiring everyone to wear a mask in public. So distancing and mask are the two basic messages that we want people to, to hear. I know a lot of people are still social distancing, um, wearing masks at work, I wear a mask still, but then you see some people, you know, mainly on social media that are not doing any of that, so it's definitely concerning. A concern Trotwood Mayor Mary McDonald shares. She's worried not enough in her city are taking the pandemic seriously. It's not personal, it's not political, it simply says we need to take closer attention to what's happening within our community and with our people. I did this for myself. People like Pouche Hodge, who says the term hotspot makes a difference. It just make me now be more aware now, especially if I go into stores and I see if anybody don't have their mask and I won't go in. Keeping their communities safe in an era of COVID. Uh, you know, wear the mask, wash the hands, uh, keep the uh, physical distancing. While all leaders agree that's their obligation. We need to respond to what the experts are telling us. It's incumbent upon leaders to make sure that it's available for our citizens. The question for some remains if they are indeed COVID-19 hotspots.